madness is the abyss. It's the experience of utter annihilation, utter annihilation. And the therapist has to ask, where is this process leading? What is this mythic imagery trying to express? Madness is not an illness and it's not a disorder. Madness is the abyss. It's the experience of utter annihilation, total fragmentation of the personality. Atwood points out that madness is called a disease localized in the brain because we are terrified of madness. When someone falls into the abyss, they need human understanding to help them back to survival. But an objectified psychiatric diagnosis is the antithesis of the needed validation and mirroring. Delusions are like dreams. They are symbolic. They are metaphorical expressions. What they're trying to do is restore the individual and try to protect themselves from the sense of being annihilated. If you hear apocalyptic imagery about the end of the world, they are symbolically talking about their feeling of disintegration and the need for a radical personality change, an attempt to compensate for a damaged sense of self and to express what's going on in the personality. People suffering from psychosis often feel annihilated. They may feel they don't exist. They are in a kind of state of non-being, feel annihilated. The person's mind and body feel as if they're being controlled or they don't belong to the person. So when you talk to such a person and you unthinkingly use a word like you, you immediately open up a gulf of misunderstanding and invalidation because there is no you. They feel like they don't exist, annihilated. Addressing them as if they exist makes communication impossible and reinforces their sense of not being understandable. The person is living in a different world. And in childhood, this person was taken over by caregivers, annihilated. The parental agenda overpowered the child's personal development and overpowered the child's identity, annihilated, and didn't allow independence, annihilated, completely regulated by outside forces. So later on, when they become psychotic and the fragile personality falls apart, this delusion of control, like by an influencing machine, becomes the concrete expression of that early experience of being completely at the mercy of the parental agenda. Madness is the abyss. It's the experience of utter annihilation, total fragmentation of the personality. We are terrified of madness.